ions. We have two types of ions. One is positive ion, and another one is negative ion. Okay, let's consider positive ion first. Positive ion, they have a name. Their name are called cation. Let's begin with considering sodium atom. Sodium atom, if you check periodic table, it tells us that it has 11 protons. For a sodium atom, it is actually electrically neutral. When we say electrically neutral, means the charges of positive and negative charges are equal. So we have the same number of proton and the same number of electron. All right. So for a sodium atom, 11 proton, 11 neutron, this is a neutral atom. And this sodium atom, when we want to draw the electronic arrangement, we have to consider the number of electrons. So from 11 electron, we want to arrange them. The arrangement has a certain rule. Okay, it is in this format, number, dot, number, dot, boxes, and more. All right, the first space you must fill up with two. Second space, if you have enough, the maximum is eight, and the rest of it is remainder. Remainder of what you have. So what we do is 11 electron means you can fill up with the first one with two, second one with eight, and the last one with one. So the sodium electronic arrangement is two, eight, one. You see, sodium atom with one electron in the outermost, outermost electron, they have the tendency to lose electron. Okay, this is the based on the stable configuration. Na two eight one. It is much easier to lose one electron, or you can say donate one electron to achieve this stable setting. All right. So, to put it in a simple, simpler terms, what we are trying to say is, uh, sodium atom used to have eleven proton, eleven electron. Now the so sodium become sodium ion. Just now it was sodium atom. Now it is sodium ion, and it has lost one electron. You see the number. It has become different. One electron less. Okay, if you have more electron, more proton than electron, you are actually becoming positive charge. All right. So Na plus, you have eleven proton and ten electron. So it's more proton than electrons. That's why it is positively charged. And the name for this positive ion is called a cation. Let's consider chlorine atom. Chlorine atom has 17 proton and 17 electron because it's neutral so the number of charges are the same the amount of protons and the amount of electrons are the same now we want to do electronic arrangement for chlorine so we put 287 when we consider 287 we have this outermost electron this outermost electron it is much easier to take one more electron to achieve the number 8 to be stable.
to take one more electron to achieve the stable condition the stable 8 electron condition alright so just like sodium atom it has one it's easier to throw one to achieve 8 in the outermost the same goes with chlorine if you have 7 it is much easier to take in one more rather than throwing that 7 away because it is much harder to throw that 7 electron or it's not good to just throw like that it's much easier to take one more so here Cl negative chlorine ion has 17 proton and 18 electron it has one extra electron this extra electron makes chlorine and negative a negative ion so this negative ion has more electron than protons so the conclusion is it could be Na is the one that tr that donates the electron away and Cl accepts it and when Na become Na plus and Cl becomes Cl negative when they meet each other they have electrostatic attraction meaning they are attracted to each other when they are attracted to each other they form ionic compound that's why we call certain compound ionic because they consist of positive ion and negative ion a name for them would be ionic compound because Na plus merge together with Cl negative through chemical reaction okay other types of compound is molecular compound we have substance like NH3 we have substance like CH4 all these are not attracted to each other due to the positive or negative charge they are not they are, they are bonded together through a method called covalent bonding so this one we will explore more in later chapters when we study how different elements they bonded together through sharing of the outermost orbital electron they share they don't donate they don't accept but they share we find out more later as a conclusion we have atom and molecule of the same element same type so example will be H and here example will be H2 compound we have example it could be the molecule like this and history it could be ions such as Na plus and Cl negative combined together we can write Na Cl so these are the difference between element and compound 